Hey guys, what's going on? I'm not quite awake yet, as you might be able to tell from my voice, but I wanted to pull for Biken, and um, so here we go. Apparently, she is not very good. I was checking out her skills, and yeah, she seems a little underwhelming. We had a little conversation around Biken, and it kind of reads like this. Keep in mind this conversation was last night when we only had access to her skills, so it could be a little bit off. There could still be some little things, maybe perhaps even a buff before her drop rate up ends, like we had with T uh, Tama, Tamarin, whatever. He starts by saying, Bacon at the moment is doo-doo, hoping they will buff her like Tama. And then I say, I mean, she is a limited, exclusive, collab unit. She should be OPAF. And then he says, nope, doo-doo. Dog <laughs> fights better than her. She has no role. Euphina, Vildred, Valona do everything better. She needs massive buffs. She requires too much to build. Most true DPS don't have to get 50% effectiveness. She needs effectiveness, massive attack, massive speed, and 100% crit rate. If you looked up in the dictionary, she'd be the first listing. And then I say, Jesus man, still gonna pull though. I vowed not to let exclusives pass. We'll probably have enough for Dizzy too. So in my opinion, he's a little overdramatic. Uh, at the moment, she is definitely not OPAF though, because like he said, she doesn't really have a set in stone role besides just doing damage. Uh, there's nothing she really excels at just based on her skills. Hopefully they will buff her because I do think she deserves it. She needs it being a limited exclusive collab unit. You know, she should be exceptional. Like maybe she doesn't just need to like one shot everything with anything, you know, but she should be a little bit like more special in my opinion. I think the best units are the more niche ones that do very, very, very well in a couple pieces of content rather than just being generally useful. With that said, of course, we are still summoning. We have plenty of sky stones and bookmarks saved up, so let's begin. Hello, my old friend connecting. It's been a while. Not really, but I'm glad I didn't do this last night because I can't imagine it would have been even worse. Starting with an Egg of Delusion. Uh, that's not a good sign. Grail of Blood. Okay, so we are bloody and delusional and connecting. Got Carrot, a bloody delusional carrot. A bloody delusional carrot in a rose. That has been chopped up by the Butcher and placed neatly inside of Raynon's memorandum, which then got stabbed by those daggers. And now to find this chopped up bloody carrot in a rose put into a book, we need the cursed compass. And Adlai is the one using the compass. He has two of them now. They kind of just interfere with one another, but hey, like they say, two is better than one. On his journey, he met Aether, who he thought was a woman, but it's not. And Ruzid. So now the team is comprised of Adlai, a furry, and a trap. While looking for the bloody carrot book, they stumbled across the forest totem which they happily danced around. All right, guess I'm done with that story there. Uh, Cause we got another rose and I'm not really sure how I would incorporate her into that. Also, can we get something besides three stars? Forest totem, this dude, Kyrus, Cluri, connecting, goblin's lamp. Oh dang, another connecting. Egg of delusion, uh, Ruzid, come on, man. I mean, I expect to go all 120 anyway, but it would be nice not to have 123 stars and then the not so uh, awesome sounding five star at the end. Biken, Azalea, 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 Mandolin boy. I'm not sure if that's a mandolin, but Atma's portal. Like we can get a four star up in here. I know we can't get any five star heroes, but we can also get like five star artifacts or something, you know, would be nice. I don't know how, let's check how many we've done. Yeah, I mean, we've done almost 30 summons with only three stars, bruh. Come on. Pearl Horizon, everyone's most hated unit. Really good to get that as my 40th three star. Grail of Blood. This is depressing, dudes. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised it's always like this, but maybe, maybe it's just because I'm always so negative. Maybe. Uh, but it's like hard to be positive when it's just like that, you know, and it really doesn't matter. I guess it's just numbers and percentages It's just I always hear everyone getting like all the good stuff on like their third or fifth pull It's like why not me? I mean not even a four star dude, I mean you can consider that lucky as well like you got to be pretty lucky to get 53 stars in a row, you know Oh, 
There we go. Let's do it. Is it the artifact for her? Yep, torn sleeve. Okay. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't sound like that good of an artifact, to be honest. Sort of. Unless they buff her. I really hope they buff her. Like, she really needs it. You know, I think... Okay, finally our luck is turning around. As soon as I started saying more positive things about how lucky it is. Uh, Dust Devil's pretty good. Have one, but uh, could limit break it. That might be not bad for her either, actually. Dust Devil. Sword of the Morning. Let's get this three-star train back rolling. It kind of got broken with all those, those five and four-star thing. So, yeah. Really excited to get this three-star train rolling again. Uh, please keep giving me three stars only. I don't want you to waste my time with any of that four-star nonsense. Ancient Sheath. Cool, cool. Misty Chain. Another solid three-star. Goblin's Lamp. Another Goblin's Lamp. Adlai. Raynon's Memory. Labyrinth Cube. Finally, oh, okay. There's a four-star. I was gonna say finally we got this three-star train rolling again, but now it's broken because of Cal Adra. Back to three stars, please. Stop. Stop ruining my time with these four-star things. Thank you. Oh, I'm getting some water. Hold on. Wondrous Potion Vial, which is pretty good. I, for those types of things, I like to limit break them because when it starts at a 50% chance, I like to get it up like as close to 100 as possible through limit breaking. So it's pretty good. Sending Axe. Hazel. Another Hazel. Devil's Brand. Alexa. I'm pretty sure I have like the best luck out of all Epic 7 players. Probably. I I, I don't think many Epic 7 players get as many 3 stars as I do. Uh, 4 star though. Wondrous Potion Vial. I mean I did kind of say that. I do, I do like to limit break those types of things, but um, you could just go ahead and give me uh, Biken as well. Sword of the Morning. Also connecting screens every pull. Sword of the Morning. Misty Chain. Come on. Okay, so after this pull, we're going to see... I mean, not come on. Awesome. No, no, no four or five stars, please. Alright, let's see. Yeah, we're halfway done. And, um, yeah. I don't know, we've gotten her artifact, which I guess is cool, but besides that, like, uh, four, four stars, I think, for 60 summons, eh, I guess it did even out a little bit, but still. Grail of Blood, Goblin's Lamp, Rima, four star, what's gonna be? Oh, E. coli. Well, no, it's just the normal coli. I think I have one already, but memory imprint is always good. Probably just gonna still save them for E. coli though, whenever I would actually get her at one point. We can do some Moonlight Summons after this as well. Maybe our Mystic Summons as well. I think the new ones are in, but I'm not too sure. Here we go, another 4 star. Uh, an what? Why? 3 Wonderish Potions. Okay. That's enough limit breaking. You can give me something else now, please. Like a Daydream Joker. There we go. Still gotta limit break one of those. Curious. Curiary. What? Helga, why don't you just give us Bikin already? Come on. Ah, cool. Judith was the one I was actually kind of hoping for. Because I use Judith, Judith in my arena team now. And getting her memory imprint up is... Uh, I mean, it's only flat health. But still. It's like 480 flat health. It could make a difference. Here we go. Four star. What's it gonna be? Another wondrous potion vial, please. Please. Not much better, actually. Oath key. Cursed compass. Exorcist tonfa again. Goblin's lamp. Yeah, looks like we're gonna have to go to the guarantee. Forest totem. Her. Nemunas. Raynons. Okay, so what? 39 left. Okay. Well, we can do two moonlights as well, so that's pretty cool. We'll probably do our mystics as well, just because this is only going to be a summoning video. I was thinking like if I got a bit lucky and got her quickly, we would check out the side story as well. But since we got to do all 120 and then some moonlights and mystics, it's just really going to be a summoning video. Infinity basket, I have tons of those, but uh, they're still good. Butterfly, mandolin, I mean that kind of looks like the thing Remo was using, a little bit different. Maybe that was like a ukulele, even though I think those are a little bit smaller. Grail of Blood, Candlestick, here we go, four star, what's it gonna be? I always get the artifacts I have tons of. Rosa Hargana, Infinity Basket, 
they are quite good, but I just have so many of them and like almost no archers, so. Dingo, I have tons of dingoes now. Kind of makes me regret not going for the other dingo, because if I were to get that moonlight dingo in the mystic summon, could have had that like at memory imprint, almost max probably. Another four star, another dingo, no. Uh, oh, do Armin. You something? Just like uh, unfortunately I think it's the moonlight Armin that's actually good. But uh, this is my first Armin, so that's pretty nice. Doesn't sound bad, but still nothing comparable to the Moonlight version. Ancient Sheath, Raynon's Memorandum again, Misty Chain, Timeless Anchor, Labyrinth Cube. This is honestly, like, so awesome that we're getting all these three stars. That's a lot of fodder. We'll need a lot of fodder for raising our new Biken. Oh, okay. Got another artifact. I actually hope it's the same. Ooh, Celestine. Heals the ally with the lowest health. Okay, definitely not bad. I think Celestine is pretty generally useful for any Soul Weaver, actually. Probably best, of course, for Dain. But then again, Rod of Amaryllis might be even better for Dain. But still, I don't have Dain. Celestine, though. Mmm, yeah. I think it's a pretty good artifact. But yeah, honestly, I was, I was hoping it was the same one. So the event artifact. Because, for one, I think it's... Or maybe it's not limited, because that was Dain's artifact. Apparently the artifacts aren't limited time, probably because they can be used by others besides the limited exclusive hero. And of course the artifact isn't guaranteed within 120 pulls, so yeah. Atma's portal, Raynon's map, Sword of the Morning. We must be getting close. Yeah, 17 summons left. Alright, I understand. Helga, Sword of the Morning. Pearl Horizon, Sword of the Morning, Nemunas, Ascending Axe, Goblin's Lamp, Helga, Kiris, Connecting, Leia, Connecting, Aqua Rose, Connecting, a four star, woo! What's it gonna be? Boom. Another Kaladra. Oath Key, four left. Man, come on. Alexa, play Despasato. Jenna, you gotta do this now. Two summons left. Okay. I actually hope it's not this one because so I can at least have one summons left until guaranteed summon for the thumbnail. Uh, watch it be this one though. Okay, so it's not. That's cool. It's just a clurry. So there we go. One summon left, but we do get three more of these. So um, I mean, it's something, I guess. I think this one can't be it either. And then there'll be like next one is guaranteed or something because it's like 121 summons. So it's a four star. Yeah, okay. Uh,. What's it? Oh, okay. Pergus. Have a few of those already as well. Biken, guaranteed summon. That actually doesn't look as good as one left, but um, I don't know. I'll decide later if I'm gonna have Biken guaranteed. Oh my god, guys, it is a five star. What could it be? Uh, it's Biken. What? Alrighty. Um, cool beans, I guess. Yeah, we got the new ones going on already. Next one? Oh, there is... The next one is in two weeks, but it's still going to be th those two Moonlights. But also we have Sez as our other five-star, which we already have. And Kron. Kron, actually, I kind of do want. We also have Rose in there. Oh god, but also Enot. I don't want to summon anymore. Okay, whatever. Well, uh, uh, let's do it. Maybe our luck turns around with Mystic Summons or Moonlight Summons. Who knows? Mighty Yaksha? That's not a good start. But hey, we got this. Come on. You can do it for me. Judith. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it, game. Together, we can do it for sure. Oath Key. Um... Arn Jesus, you are the most loving and forgiving of all the G. That's a good start. We got a four star up in there, you know. Uh, in, uh, another infinite. It, it's cool. Um, a five star, Ball and Cezanne, or the or the other four star. This this uh, this Moonlight Rin w would be nice. So, I mean, I I know it's asking for a lot, but. But I, I, I've been loyal to you, RN Jesus, and, and, and I think we can come to a mutual agreement that you can just give me crap from then on if you give me something good now. So I, 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 I think it's a pretty good, pretty good trade-off. We're at 600, uh, 
600 left. No another cursed compass. Another mighty Aksha. Our our and Jesus. I I'm. I know it's it's a lot to ask again, but uh, but uh, yeah, you know, have a little bit of mercy. How about that? Have a little bit of mercy on my soul. Cursed compass. Are are are, are you trying to tell me to find my find my own way or something? I don't know. Misty chain. You know she, she, she's cool too. But oath key. Yeah, we're running out of mystic metals here, but it's cool. You know. The oath keys are nice, I, I think, for like Kiris. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't really need more of them, but you know, 275 medals left. We, we got this. Judith, okay, I think her memory imprint would be maxed by now, so I don't really need those anymore. So, uh, you know, the five star would be, would be cool. One of the five stars. Why this again? I got rid of so many. All right, let's do our last three mystic summons and then going to follow it up with our moonlight summons. We could actually do like, I think three or four moonlights. Uh, still haven't lost complete hope in mystic yet. We only have two summons left, but uh, yeah, there's still a chance. There is as much chance on the first one as there is on this one. A four star, maybe it's the moonlight Ren. Who knows? It's not, it's a Katie's which I would have been excited about a while ago, but not really anymore since one, I have her already, and two, I have Angelica, which is kind of better anyway. Uh, oh well. Uh, yeah, well, let's let's keep our hope up for Moonlight Summons. Let's go grab those other Moonlight bookmarks. Four Moonlight Summons, here we go. Please, for the love of God. Everything thus far has been absolute crap, so it would be excellent Please? Okay. Axe God at least. Okay, well we have Harado. Uh one of my one of my friends, the same one who I was talking about earlier, said he is uh pretty amazing for PvP. Uh I think in addition to a different combat readiness thing, because when someone uses a non-attack skill, he increases the combat readiness. And then he can nuke the combat readiness. Something like that. I don't really want to use him, but I'll I'll hold on to him at least. Please, please, something. Ricker is no. Uh, uh, something, something good. Please. Uh, Axe God. Requiem roar. Oh no, it's gloomy rain. What? I've never seen her before. She doesn't sound that good though. Last, last moonlight. Please, please, I'm begging you, R and Jesus, have some mercy. Nothing on the 121 normal pulls, nothing on my mystic pulls, and nothing here either. Gun Gunther, Gunther, you end it with the f Gunther. All right, cool. That was that was really sad. Like this whole session was sad as hell. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Okay, but I guess that'll do it. Not much really else to say for now. Uh, yeah. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Uh, if you have already summoned as well, or if you decide to skip her, uh, you can tell me how that went or didn't go, depending on if you did or didn't, whatever. Leaving a like if you did happen to enjoy my misery is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.